Welcome back. Great program being started up first time ever by the Cantaloupe's YMCA. It's called the Strength in Being a Boy Conference. It's taking place at the end of April at the TCC. Here to tell us about it, we have Hope sitting next to me and on the end, Jackie. Welcome Hello. back to the show, ladies. Hi. Thank you. How's your Wednesday going? Great. Very yeah. well. Good. So, uh, I know in the past I've covered the power of being a girl. Uh, and so now we're going to do the other side of it, which I think is fabulous. Tell me a little bit about the program. Well, it is uh, Strength in Being a Boy, just like Power of Being a Girl, is a YWCA Canada um, initiative. And we've been wanting to do it, doing it, like for years we've been trying to do it, but just capacity and funding just didn't work. And then finally we added it to our Strong Kids campaign, uh, raised a little bit more money, and now for uh, the first time ever we have 60 boys coming on April 26th. Has it already been signed up? Who's going to be there in the whole bed? It's all sold out. The is that right? Full yeah. And we have a large wait list. I believe in 11 Two. days, which is record mm -hmm. time. Wow. Yeah. So what will be going on? This is a one-day event. Mm -hmm. 60 boys from around our region, I'm uh, imagining. Yes. What happens over the course of the day? Well, there's three different workshops for the boys to choose from. All are really fun. One is called uh, The Dynamic Boy, and it, it focuses on jujitsu and uh, the gentle way of that kind of Judo. art form. Judo. Thank so you. Nice. <laughs> and the other one is, um, well, there's one where they're challenging media culture and they're like debunking that through Lego and that kind of thing which is really fun. Nice. And the other one I'm sorry. The I'm questing know. boy, yeah. which is uh, navigating challenging situations. How we come oh. up with these workshops is we um, held a couple sessions in the fall with boys right. in grades five, six, seven, eight eight and um, they told us what was going on for them mm -hmm. so what was the biggest thing was this kind of fight mentality that's going on as you transition into middle school so we really wanted to give them uh, a sense of who they were and what that means to be a boy and how you be a boy um, with all those stereotypes coming ar around just like girls right mm -hmm. um, so we're our workshops are targeted to the items that are kind of coming up for them so you kind of had focus groups to help determine yes. what would be the most beneficial topics to to sort of expand Absolutely. on. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what are the ages of these kids, of these boys? Nine to 13 years old. Great, right during that impressionable time, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, this in yeah. our pilot year, uh, there were a couple things that we weren't really sure of. So next year, we will probably have 125 boys because we already have well, like almost 30 boys on the wait list. Wow. And unfortunately, we can't open up further because that's what we had um, organized, right? Yeah. So next year we'll open up to 125, I believe, and um, we'll also. Um, um I've lost my train of thought here. I'm so sorry. Well, what I'd like to say is that I think it's great that this has come from the Why Strong Kids Challenge. Of course, we yes. just wrapped that up. I understand $36,000 was raised. Yeah. Just um, from the teams. Just from the teams. Just from the teams. Right. It's totally so awesome. It's nice to see or hear about where that money's going to, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, the boys really, really wanted this in the community, mm -hmm. and they had been asking for it. It's one thing that the parents are asking for it, but when the boys start to ask for it, you know that you just have to kick something into gear and make it happen. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So for people who obviously, obviously aren't going to be able to sign their child up for it this year, uh, when will there be the opportunity for next year to sign up? Does that happen quite early in the year or how does that work for people who want to? Yeah, I think we'll probably have it the same time next year as well in April. We have Power Being a Girl in October, so uh, trying not to mesh the sure. two conferences, of course. Mm -hmm. So um, this year... Was March 1st our, our registration? It was, yeah. yeah. March 1st. Yeah, and I think we'll keep it like that as well. Okay. Just keep your eye on the website and okay. the social media pages. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah, very important. Who's doing all the teaching, by the way? Who's running the three groups? There's a couple different. We have the Counts Judo Club that's coming in nice. um, to do the judo, of course. We have Wendy Grunberg, who is our children who witness abuse, uh, one of our counselors yes. and a, a, a helper. And, um, oh, and Jessan Stanko, who has been involved with Power Being a Girl doing media busting for years. So, mm -hmm. And she also ran the focus groups for us in the fall. Awesome. So she's really excited about it. Awesome, you guys. Sounds like you've got... Uh, uh, a popular following for something that hasn't even become a first annual event yet, so good for Definitely. you. Definitely. Very exciting. Definitely. Yeah. The need in the community is there, uh, the want is there, which is great. So if you're interested in this, you might want to tuck away the information on the screen uh, for the next year uh, that they'll be doing this so that you can get your name on the list. That phone number, of course, very valuable, 372-7725 for the Strength in Being a Boy Conference. We're back in two minutes. Stay with us.